Welcome back all my Minecrafting friends. This is the Day 6 player update for the January 2015 Minecraft Hardcore Challenge, the Underground Challenge Reloaded. And guess what? Nobody nobody died in Day 6. Not a single person. So, let's get started on the list. Uh, Momo and Mike Deadman, also known as Mom of Miners and Frank and Honest, uh, found a fortress in the uh, nether or uh, yeah yeah they just found it and they uh, killed a lot of uh, killed a lot of skeletons in there and got lots of bones they got nether wart they killed a bunch of blazes although I didn't see them getting any getting blaze rods so maybe they haven't got a rod yet Next is Rebel Guy. Rebel Guy is making bread. He uh, went to the nether. And he's doing a bunch of decorating of his nether base. So his nether base is he's getting decked out. Next we have Wild Trekker Plays. And it's actually Wild Trekker's daughter. Uh, but I can't remember her name, but... <coughs> Blob Basher, I think. Uh, so Wild Trekker's daughter is c carrying on since Wild Trekker died, uh, excavating the main room, uh, making bread, expanding the tree farm. So she she was busy on day six. Next we have Psycho SFK and Crazy Kinsey. They expanded their farm. Uh, several trees grew. They, uh, Crazy Kinsey is doing a lot of decorating. She made a nice living room with a fireplace and furniture. So, they're getting set up nice. Next, we have the solo world of Scotty Garbitas. He started out by doing some mining, which turned into caving as soon as his mine uh, broke into a cavern. Uh, he did find a few diamonds and, uh, then he came back to base and uh, his trees are growing. He made bread. He decided to expand his farm a little bit, which is a good thing because it was pretty tiny. Uh, he made a portal. Uh, a pigman came through the portal and he killed him on this side, which is okay because, you know, the pigman on the other side of the portal can't hear this one call, so. And uh, he also expanded the tree farm. So he was very busy during day six. Also, next we have Kidda Plays. If you remember a couple episodes ago, Draco uh, starved to death. But Kidda carries on. Uh, her trees are coming in. Her wheat is coming in. She's making bread. She's decorating uh, several rooms. Down there she has something that looks like a big bed uh, a living room she's using iron doors for part of it looking pretty looking pretty sweet next we have Lightbringer Lightbringer uh, collected uh, some quartz in the nether he is uh, he's expanded his nether forest he's got lots of saplings growing in the nether and they are growing and producing apples uh, he collected a bunch of nether brick so that he could expand his uh, his nether base inside the fortress there. He, he widened it and uh, raised it up a little bit. Uh, changed the, uh, made a fancy floor with the uh, the quartz and the, uh, and the nether brick slabs. And he put in a couple of uh, really nice chandeliers too. So, using torches. So, next we have Cyan 93. Cyan 93 now has full armor, although that's not that big a deal considering uh, we're not doing that much fighting in this, this, uh, this challenge. He went to the nether, he found the fortress, he killed some blazes, uh, 
he's he shows uh, really well uh, how to how to safetyfy the uh, fortress as you're traveling through it so that you don't get killed by the wither skeletons. If you want to see how to do that, check his episode out. It's a really good example of how exactly how to do it. Next we have Technoscribe. This is the solo Technoscribe. Uh, she went mining for diamonds and she found I think eight or nine of them. So she did really good. And she also uh, got her second uh, bucket of water. So she can she can make her infinite water, infinite spring now. Next we have Badheart MC. Badheart MC made an auto smelter. So he's uh, smelting automatically. And he's making bread. So his food situation is improving. Next we have Outfoxed. Outfoxed is carrot farming. Uh, his trees are coming in. He's doing some decorating and expanding his farm. Next is the team of Magic Dad 76, Beto, uh, AF Bunny, Craig Plays, and Steampunk. And they made bread, they grew trees, they got some fish from fishing, so they're they're doing good on food. They uh, collected some redstone, I mean glowstone and uh made made glowstone lighting for their their farm and their and their their area there they uh one of them collected some mushrooms in the nether next we have tim obert also known as captain hook 5150 uh, he found some diamonds he did some mining he making bread and he's looking for the second water but he has not found it yet Next we have the team known as Load Central, which is Baker Bell, Jesse Katz, and Dan. Uh, there were there were other members, but they died. Now there's just the three of them. They uh, they've been doing some decorating in day six, and they also found some diamonds, which they don't really need, so they just left them there as decoration in Baker Bell's uh, room. Uh, next we have Boon Slayer. Boon Slayer uh, spent the entire episode mining. He didn't find anything interesting. Next we have New Azusa. New Azusa is making bread and mining. Next we have Baker Bell. This is her solo world. In her solo world she got her second bucket of water so she can now do the infinite spring thing. Next we have the solo world of John Fall 92. He is brewing potions and he also built an auto harvester. Next we have uh, John Fall and Maisie. John Fall and Maisie uh, doing some decorating, uh, getting some apples. John is doing some caving and they had a thunderstorm in day six. Well, they could, they could hear the thunder, but, you know, of course, down at Y15 and below, they're not really affected it by it except for just the noise. Next is John Fall and Raven. John Fall and Raven also have the same thunderstorm, uh, which no one else in the, in the challenge had, so they must be running a slightly different version than the rest of us. Uh, they did some decorating and made some bread. So they're doing good too. And finally we have Cherry Bitters MC. She uh, collected the goodies from the dungeon chests. She's uh, started to make a rudimentary grinder out of the zombie dungeon. Uh, she named two zombie villagers with name tags. Uh, I think she named them after butlers in TV shows. Uh, James was one of them and uh, I can't remember the other one. Okay, but so and now all she needs is to find a spider to get a spider eye and she'll have uh, everything she needs to, to
to turn these zombies into villagers. That'd be cool. You should have to keep them separated and you should have to keep them away from other zombies because, you know, it takes five minutes for them to convert and in that time, if they get attacked by another zombie, even if they attack each other, uh, they can, you know, as soon as they start uh, doing the shaking thing, they become targets for other zombies. So you have to isolate them and protect them. Okay, uh, this is Mike Deering signing out. Looks like I have a couple of zombies down there running around on the other side of my prison. Okay. Oh, and uh, for everyone who's looking forward to the February challenge, Yahoo, which I'm one of them, uh, the announcement video will be coming out this Friday, the 23rd, which should give you uh, two full weekends and uh, a full week to uh, get your get your episodes ready for February. Uh, we will be starting with uh, episode zero on the first Monday of February. Uh, so that our episode numbers and, and the day numbers in the in the F3 display match up. So, yes. Uh, and I think that takes care of everything I wanted to say. See you on Friday in day seven.